Welcome back. In this video, we're going to put everything we've learned so far into practice. We will be creating a minimalist but functional system for managing tasks using AmpleNote. This is part one of our system walkthrough, and we will be focusing on the foundations, capturing, reviewing, and planning. We'll be using daily jots task score, recurrence, and deadlines to build the simplest system that also works. Let's start with capturing, the most important part of any system. Throughout the day, whenever something comes to mind, a reminder, an idea, or a to-do, we want to get it out of our head and into a reliable place. In AmpleNote, that place is the daily jot. To capture a new task, I just open my daily jot and start typing. Then I press Command Enter or Control Enter twice to turn it into a task. Done, it's captured. Now, let's say I'm in the middle of taking some notes. What if I want to capture something without interrupting my flow? If I remember something unrelated that I know I have to get done, I just create a task for it, like so. Then I can quickly move this task out of the way if I type forward slash move. This command lets me choose where I want to move this task to. So I will type the word today to send it straight to my inbox, which is my daily jot. Now I can pick up where I left off and rest assured that my idea was captured. Another handy capture point to know of is the quick task menu. In the bottom right corner of the app, I can press this plus sign and use this menu to capture my thought. There are a bunch more ways to capture tasks in AmpleNote. We will go over all of them throughout this series. But for now, let's check out step two of the process. The second part of our system is reviewing what we've captured. If capturing was about catching every idea in a big pile of tasks in our inbox, Think about this phase as the organizing phase of the process. Let's see how that happens. I will go to tasks mode and I will filter by my daily jots. This will gather all tasks that I've ever captured into my daily jots in a neat little list. As you can see here, I've already saved this filter to my shortcuts and I've renamed it to inbox. I did that so that it's much easier to find my inbox in a single click anytime I need it. Now, all I have to do is to go through each item I've captured and ask the question, where does this belong? Remember, we're not actually completing these tasks in the real world just yet. We are just organizing them. While I go through my own inbox right here, I will stumble upon some categories of tasks or perhaps areas of my life that these tasks tend to relate to. For example, I might find ideas that relate to my hobbies or my career or my family and social life. This is great because our productivity system is going to build itself based on the kinds of things that we tend to capture throughout the day. This is the bottom-up approach or the build-as-you-go approach. Instead of creating folders and getting very deep into the structure of your system right from the start, we let it grow as we accumulate more tasks and more notes. Going back to reviewing now, let's ask, 
where does this task belong? Well, this should probably be in my shopping list, so I'm going to move it to my existing groceries note. Moving tasks to another note is going to be a thing you do frequently during this review phase. I can see a bunch of other shopping items in my list, so I will move all of them to the same note. Next, I can see that this particular task is actually more like a habit that I want to adopt daily. So, I will change its recurrence pattern to be every day. Next, I'm going to set a duration of 15 minutes and then I'm going to make sure it starts at 10 p.m. every day. Now, I will move this to a note called Habits and I'm done. There are a few other habits in my inbox. For example, for this task, I can set a flexible recurrence pattern. It makes sense because I would like to water my house plants three days after I last watered them. Next, the rest of my captured tasks are all somehow related to my long-term personal goals. I probably want all of these tasks to live in the same note so that it's easier to find them and make a weekly plan. Also, I will want to make use of task score to have these tasks automatically sort themselves based on importance and urgency. For example, my task about renewing my passport has a pretty clear deadline, namely the date that my passport expires. As it happens, I already set a deadline for this task that shows up right here. So I can simply file it away into my personal goals note. This next task is an example of a task without a clear deadline in the near future, but nevertheless one that I want to make progress on. This is the kind of task that I want to mark as important. Marking a task as important will increase its task score and make it climb higher relative to my other tasks. I will finish reviewing this task by moving it to my goals note. This particular task is one that is urgent, even though it has no clear fixed deadline. So I will mark it as urgent using the forward slash followed by the word urgent. In fact, it's probably also important to set up regular backups, so I'll mark it as important too. Then I will move it to my goals note. Then this task is neither important nor urgent, but it would be nice to do. So I will leave it as is and move it to my goals note. And there we have it. My inbox is now empty and my tasks are nicely categorized. With our tasks captured and reviewed, it's time to get to the final step, which is planning. So let's switch to tasks mode and make sure we are in the agenda view. That is, when tasks are grouped together by their start date. This view lets me see all tasks that don't have a start date yet. Going through each of them, I can create a plan for the day or for the week. For example, I can set this task to start later today by typing forward slash followed by the word start. If I want to schedule another task for today, I can also simply drag and drop it into this section. For tasks that I'd rather not work on just yet, I can hide them manually for a few days until I have more time or until they become more relevant. 
I will choose to hide this one for three days. Scheduling and hiding tasks until I have a solid and plausible plan is what this phase of the process is all about. While scheduling your tasks, make sure to also keep an eye out for your recurring obligations such as habits and chores. You can choose to make a broad plan every week or a more detailed plan every day. It's up to you. So now, we have a basic and functional system for managing tasks, projects, and habits. Our jots are meant for capturing ideas quickly. Tasks mode is for processing everything we captured. And finally, in the planning step, we can use the agenda view to make a draft of what we want to happen the following day or the following week. Throughout this series of tutorials, we will introduce more ample note features and more ways to use them, slowly building up to a more complex and powerful system. Make sure to pick the parts of this system that make sense for your daily routine and the kind of work that you need to get done. And remember that more complex isn't always more useful.